Hey there, what's going on? Today I'm going to teach you how to quickly and easily clean a failure that is stuck to your FEP. Now if you look closely, I've got a little bit there that's uh, fallen off one of my prints, mid-print. It was pre-supported. Always check your pre-supported uh, prints and it has definitely stuck to my FEP. Happens a million times. It'll happen to you. Now when I first started um, 3D printing, what I would do is just kind of drain the resin out and um, just scrape at that kind of uh, as gently as I possibly could because I knew you can damage your FEP um, until that eventually kind of unstuck itself and I would inevitably of course uh, damage my FEP but there's a new way using the uh, VAT cleaning system uh, that's in a lot of uh, semi-new printers uh, these days uh, and I'm going to show you how that works. So this is the print in question. It's a cool little uh, spider robot cavalry guy from uh, the Maker's Cult, uh, Ar Arachno Vector, I believe they call it. And as you can see, there's an empty uh, little support here. That's uh, a gun that was supposed to be there, but seemingly has just fallen off during the printing process. Uh, it's the only pre-supported uh, bit here that I didn't edit myself, so it inevitably fell off. Everything else looks like it came out just fine. Um, but what I'm going to do is snip off that little bit with a, uh, a pair of uh, pair of snippers, um, including the raft, and uh, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Um, so here's the little bit after it's been snipped off. Use those right there. Snipped it off the uh, the raft right there. And um, this is a little trick that I learned on Reddit. Um, so what's basically going to happen here is that we're going to do a full exposure for about 30 to 60 seconds just to... Uh, cure the bottom layer of this vat and then we'll be able to pull everything off including that fail without uh, without having to work with much scraping at all um, and the trick is actually to take this little this little island this little dead uh, support here and place it right right on the edge of where your curing vat is, and so that way that's cured into the actual uh, the actual little layer of resin that is going to be uh, cured to the bottom there. And so now that we have that there, uh, the rest is pretty simple to do. We're just going to go into tools. We're going to go into vat cleaning, and I like to uh, do two of these just to make sure that it's actually nice, and because it's a thin layer, I wanted to make it a little a little brittle so it'll come off a little easier. But we'll start, and then. Boom, you can hear the fan going. You see all the UV bleed. This is a frozen uh, Sonic Mini 4K, uh, which is a great printer, albeit a couple of flaws. This one's pretty heavily modified uh, thus far, but let's see what happens next. If your printer doesn't have um, a vat cleaning mode, uh, you could probably just do an exposure test, um, which is basically the exact same thing. It just is a every pixel lights up and um, cures and it would cure if resin was in there the in, the entire build area um, that's essentially just what this does so just do an exposure test and let that run for a solid 30 to 60 seconds so it's all done um, I had to go through two passes so 60 seconds total of a full uh, a full burn full cure of the uh, of the whole uh, build area um, and I didn't mention it before this video is really impromptu, but uh, yes, this is all done before ever even loosening the vat, um, draining it out. What we're going to do now is drain the resin out, um, filter it back into your bottle, and, uh, and then we're going to work on it. So let's take this out and see how well I can drain it one-handed. Oh. Cool. So, as you can see, those little supports are cured into the bottom layer, as well as that failure cured into the bottom layer. Um, so we're gonna clean this up now. Well, what we're gonna do is drain this and then give it a quick little clean. Um, put a little bit of alcohol in there, drain it out, and just uh, gently like try to clean some of the excess uh, resin out of this before we continue on to the next step, which is removing that cured bit from the uh, from the FEP. So I've just cleaned a little bit of the resin out of here, and you're probably uh, 
see where, I, where I'm getting at. Yeah, just do, we can just pull this off now and it'll all just come up and it'll be perfectly clean. Well, no, not really. Uh, there's one little step that you have to do first and that is to just uh, try to loosen it from the back a little bit first. Just rub your finger around the whole back of this. Um, some of the parts of this are more stuck than other parts. And so if you pull a little bit too hard, you can actually uh, uh, put dimples in your uh, FEP um, un uh, if you go too quickly and you don't loosen it up first. I'm just getting a little bit of a LA's Totally Awesome on my finger and just wiping the back of this. And I can hear it coming up. Um, once you do this, it's pretty loose. So now all you have to do is grab this support and gently just pull it off. And voila, you have a perfectly clean FEP. So this uh, this little sheet of, uh, of cured resin, um, it's super minimal, like it's not much resin at all. And compared to the cost of potentially damaging your FEP, it is definitely worth it to go through with this process than it is to uh, the old fashioned way of placing this down, taking a tool and, and trying to scrape and get little bits off or any other process you're previously doing. This is, uh, in my opinion, probably the best way, fastest, safest, and easiest way of cleaning off your FEP sheet uh, in, the, in case of a, a failure. So thank you very much for watching.